Good evening and a big warm welcome to live boxing here in Eurosport, all the way from Perino in Spain. Tonight's main event features the European Super Featherweight Championship. That's Anatoly Alexandrov of Russia defending against Pedro Ferradas of Spain. In the kickoff, though, the light heavyweight contest is a young man, all the way from Sheffield, by the name of Darren Littlewood. And he's going to be facing the Spaniard, Roberto Dominguez. There's Darren Littlewood, trained by Brendan Ingle, ordinarily. I'm not too sure if Brendan's uh, come down for this. So in the corner then with Darren Littlewood, the former two-time world cruiserweight title challenger, Johnny Nelson. And of course, lots of these... Uh, Brendan Ingle fighters double up as uh, corner men. Darren's got a pretty stiff task on his hands here, I suggest. Dominguez has won 20, 20 of his fights, lost just three times, and 12 of his 20 wins have come inside the limit. There's Dominguez. So there then is Dominguez. Oído los dos, oído, break the stop, ok. ¿Eh? Bien. So here we go then for round one of the scheduled eight round contest. Darren Littlewood, South Core, nice move. If I remember rightly, okay. Darren is a former NABC champion and possibly a young England representative. Not absolutely sure. And uh, Dominguez, by the way, has had the uh, dubious pleasure of mixing in very high company, namely Darius Michalczewski for the uh, WBO championship. Michalczewski stopped him in two rounds. Mind you, Michalczewski, not the man everybody thought he was. He promised so much and has failed of late to deliver. Well, we've seen before, of course, these uh, Spaniards can be very rugged customers. Littlewood, on the other hand, is a very smooth kind of boxer. Likes to move around the ring. But doesn't get hit too often. Darren, by the way, has won six of his uh, 11 contests. Five losses and a draw. No, my apologies. Five losses. And Darren has also had the... Uh, Dubious pleasure of crossing swords with some very good fighters, Joe Calzaghi. Joe beat him in a round. De Francis outpointed him. But he's had some good wins as well. Particularly, I thought, last time out. Nice attack there from Collins, uh, so from Littlewood. He actually beat the brother of Steve Collins, the WBO Super Middleweight Champion, Pascal. On points over four rounds. The night, in fact, that Steve Collins fought Nigel Benn in Manchester. And if I also remember rightly, in fact, I came in right at the end of that particular bout, and Pascal Collins looked to have had a very good last round. Littlewood was a bit banged up. Next. Clash of heads then. Littlewood going to be cagey enough over eight rounds, I wonder, to contain this rugged Spaniard, Roberto Dominguez. Stop! Stop! No pegues en la nuca, Roberto. Stop! 
And I do believe, by the way, that um, Dominguez is ranked number five with the European Boxing Union. So he's in the top ten there, up waiting for a crack at a European crown. As we end round one. Really not too much be to pick between them, I don't think. Quite a quiet start for Dominguez. And in fact, Dominguez is the local man. This town of Perino is, the, uh, is in the province of Pontevedra, which of course is where Dominguez comes from. So there's Darren Little, but they've been tended by the former British Commonwealth and European Cruiserweight champion Johnny Nelson. And of course, why Johnny would freeze in two attempts at the world title will remain probably one of life's mysteries. So Littlewood then trying to be a bit cagey in that opening round as we come up for the second. So live boxing all the way from Spain. And of course Dominguez realising at this point that he's in with a tricky customer. And his problem now is getting in, scoring, oh, like that. And pretty heavy punches there from Dominguez. There looks to be a fair lump of weight difference between these two. Nice right hook then from Littlewood. I actually saw Darren have his second professional contest at the Evesham Sporting Club. Beat Martin Jolly on points over six rounds and uh, looked a pretty decent prospect in the process. So has Darren got the strength to stave off this strong-looking Spaniard for 24 minutes overall? So strength versus savvy. And you don't need me to point out which is which. Dominguez there just backing off, hoping to coax Littlewood in. But looks like Dominguez is not too keen on taking shots here from Darren. Second warning then for holding for Littlewood. You get a point deducted next time. Well, that looked like a better round for uh, Dominguez. So, little in the first round. Um, Dominguez taking the second round, no doubt about that.
Segundos, fuera. So, touch of replay then from round two. Littlewood once again charging forward, but Dominguez going back at quite a rate as we come up now for round three. Let me just remind you, Darren Littlewood in those paisley trunks, I think that's what they are, checked against Roberto Dominguez of Spain. No doubt Dominguez getting things all his own way as far as uh, aggression is concerned. Darren backing off and lying in his facing needs. I just wonder what would happen though if Little would stop in his tracks and bang over a good shot. And, uh, I don't say that lightly because Dominguez has lost three times. Each time he's been stopped. Well, he's going to get a point deducted now. One point. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I do apologise for not knowing. Of course, these referees are a law unto themselves. Quite often, not just the amateurs that are poor. You get a country like Spain, of course, that has so little professional boxing that uh, how can they expect these officials to get any kind of practice? So we won't be too tough on the referee, whose name, by the way, I do not know, which is just as well. Now, there is no doubt whatsoever. You can just tell by the very demeanor of Dominguez. He doesn't like taking punches. And I hear you say, who does like taking shots? But uh, there is a point there, there's a limit. That was nice by Littlewood. But he's lost a point, uh, Darren, in that round, as well as, uh, well, it, it, it might have been even, but for that. At the way in, Darren Littlewood was uh, giving away something like five pounds, which is not a massive lump, of course, at light heavy. But as you can see, Darren is not the biggest of men. That was a nice shot. Just a little bit more before the start of round four. Here we are then, round four. If you just joined us, I'll remind you in the dark trunks on the left there, Darren Little has just taken a right hand from Roberto Dominguez of Spain. Littlewood, of course, from Sheffield. Stop. 
Just to remind you tonight, our main event features the European Super Featherweight Championship, the, the Russian, who goes by the name of Anatoly Alexandrov, against the Spaniard, Pedro Ferraris. Of course, when um, boxers from, well, from anywhere really, take this kind of job, boxing abroad against uh, a fancied fighter, the best they can hope for, of course, is, uh, I suppose the least they can hope for, really, is to come out of it unscathed and also unstopped. And uh, that's as good as winning, really, because the chances of actually getting the nod legitimately even if you did win over a local fighter in Spain, is uh, not that high. Stop, stop. Stop. So you will see, of course, Littlewood looking to contain Dominguez at every opportunity, not taking too many risks, and just getting through eight rounds. Of course, it would be wonderful to think that Darren could find a Sunday punch from somewhere. But uh, that seems increasingly unlikely here. Dominguez is up the pace after a very quiet opening round. Well, that attack then for Dominguez proving but Littlewood is far better off as a southpaw, i.e. leading with his right hand. So there she is then, this young lady, trampling around with those hobnail boots on. Rather strange combination, don't you think? Skimpy on top, very heavy of foot. Touch of replay once again for the fourth round. Littlewood is faced a mask of concentration as once again the uh, Spanish crew managed to cock things up. So round five of the scheduled eight round contest. This is the halfway point and Darren I'm afraid is three points behind at this stage looking increasingly like he needs something major to occur for him to win this one. Ooh, big left hook then from Dominguez. That one hurt. Littlewood now forced to back off and uh, hasn't fully recovered from the punch. Up at eight. He's going to continue, I think, but that was a nasty left hook that caught him. Well, attack, I suppose, the best form of defence in some circumstances. Stop, stop. At that time, Littlewood was pulled to the floor. So, shaky start then for the Yorkshireman at the start of this round, of round five. Of course, Dominguez now probably feels this one is there for the taking. Look at the referee if you can take your ass this fight for a few moments. Oh, good uppercut then. That actually caught Littlewood, I thought, high on the top of the head. Mandatory eight count. Yes, he will continue. 
Yeah, just have a look at this referee. Just see the way he moves, the things he does, the way he does them. It's all over now, surely. Yes, that's the third time that Darren Littlewood hit the deck in round five to register a fifth round stoppage victory for Roberto Dominguez, the local man. But he seemed to apply the pressure steadily as the fight wore on, didn't he? No doubt about the winner.